Hello, future coffee masters. You already know about great coffee and how to craft a perfectly made latte. Let's go one step further. We'll look at espresso in much more detail. So, what is espresso exactly? Cafe espresso, or simply espresso, is a coffee beverage. It's brewed with an extraction process that forces pressurized hot water through finely ground coffee. In contrast to other coffee brewing methods, espresso often has a thicker consistency, a higher concentration of dissolved solids, and crema. As a result of the pressurized brewing process, all of the flavors in a typical espresso are very concentrated. Did you know that the act of producing a shot of espresso is often termed pulling a shot? This originated from early espresso machines, which required pulling down a handle attached to a spring loaded piston. This act would force hot water through the coffee at high pressure. Our semi automated espresso machines support you by performing a lot of the tasks when pulling shots of espresso. After you press the button for the type and number of shots you'd like, the machine will grind, dose, and tamp the coffee. For a double shot, your machine will grind and correctly dose about 14 grams of coffee into the brewing chamber. It then consistently tamps the coffee before the pump delivers filtered hot water through the chamber. The water is about 192 degrees Fahrenheit, or 89 degrees Celsius, and it's under pressure, approximately nine times atmospheric pressure. This high pressure is necessary to force the water through our tamped coffee in the right amount of time for the proper extraction. We call the machines semi-automated because you still control the quality of the espresso shots. There is a balance between grind, dosage, and extraction time. We know that the water, proportion, and tamp are consistent. Adjusting the grind is how you control the balance and ultimately the equality of the espresso shot. You might ask, why does the grind ever need to change? Well, the grind is affected by several things. How long the beans have been in the machine, the temperature of the store, and changes in humidity. This is why calibrating the machine by adjusting the grind is so important. Now that we know how a shot is pulled, let's look at the shot of espresso itself. Extraction occurs when a shot is pulled. Water is forced through the coffee and extracts a combination of solids, gases, and oils, some of which influence flavor, aroma, or body. There can be 800 different compounds present in a single shot of espresso that contribute to aroma alone. Right after a shot is pulled, the solids are often visible. This is referred to as tiger striping. These are the tiny particles of the coffee bean and compounds that are both soluble and insoluble. These solids contribute to the flavor and body of the espresso. Similarly, the extracted gases are what we refer to as the aroma. The top of your espresso shot, or the crema, is actually the emulsified oils that are brought out of the espresso bean during roasting. Just like oils floating to the surface of a glass of water, crema rises to the top of your shot glass. Out of the bag, our espresso blend appears oily, which is a sign of freshness and a precursor to great crema. So, now you know a little more about the science of espresso. Remember, every espresso shot pulled will build the foundation for a quality beverage and Starbucks experience. As a coffee master, please share your knowledge and ensure your shots of espresso are perfect every time.